Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Do It Easy. Today we will learn how to create database in Simply4 application and then we will see how to make entity and then move on migration. In migration we will see how to create schemas for tables and if you want to add more fields or update any field type then how we can do we will see in this video. So now let's start. I will open my Simply4 project and we'll go to the .env file. Here we are seeing there is an environment variable database URL. And uh, here we need to set our localhost credential first for creating the database. And I will replace this DB user to root and as my database password is nothing. So I will just remove it and here we need to set our IP and the port name uh, we need to uh, check uh, at which port our MySQL is running so I will use an here uh, to, uh, by clicking on configure you can see which port is, uh, is uh, MySQL is running so uh, it is on 3309 port so we can change this it is 3309 and here we can change the database name i will uh, keep it as test s y n f o n y symphony and now we can check uh, now we need to run command to create database php bin console bin bin sorry Let's create it is mean created. We can also check here. Local host admin. It is testing me and it is blank initially. So we see how we can create the database. We can now mark it as then now we will move on and ent entity uh, firstly we uh, take a look on what is entity suppose uh, i want to create a table uh, named user and i want to save information of user like name its date of, uh, date of birth and roll number and etc so uh, for it it is more convenient and manageable to create the structure of the database that what will the type of that field so for this uh, uh, if we directly make the database it is not quite manageable so we just create the reflection of our database which is we called as entity it is a entity class where we define the uh, table fields which are going which we are going to use and what will be the data type of it so firstly uh, we need to see where will our entity will generate uh, we can see here is a directory named src and in this there is an entity and repository there is an entity directory where our entity will be generated and parallelly uh, its repository class also generated where we uh, can uh, write our mysql query depending on the requirement if we need it so now we start by creating entity the we can use command php bin console make entity suppose my class name is user and here we can see there are two files created uh, entity and the repository the, um, and now it is expecting the properties name under that class so I want to uh, uh, create the property at that moment as name and its type as a string and length is 25 and database notable or not yes we want to add under uh, I not need at that time okay now we can see uh, Here, uh, there is a field name added with type string length 125 and nullable true, and also with the getter and setter, which will be uh, later used. Uh, 
when we need to fetch and set the values of the uh, that field so here we can see how we can generate the entity and now I can mark it as done and now we will move on migration so what is migration firstly we uh, take a look and migration is a uh, versioning of the tables or the database uh, versioning means that how uh, at today what will what is the structure of that table that how many fields and how, what the type of that field uh, are today and after some days if we want to change that uh, structure we can do easily and we also keep record of what at what moment of time what uh, at what what according to the requirement what the structure of that table and it uh, through migration we can also move to any number of uh, migration or the version of the uh, table so now we can start with uh, before it I want to show you the migration come some of the migration command which I have noted um, as firstly it is php bin console make it is I think it is migration and second uh, it is a, a command which uh, we run initially to create the migration of any entity this is the second command that is php bin console doctrine migration migrate which is used to run and run the migration and the third one is uh, the command when we, which is used when we want to run any specified version of migration and here we can see there is a parameter with down and up these uh, parameters are used when we want to move a level up uh, to a version or move a level down to any uh, specified version and the last one command is in the command that is php bin console doctrine migration status this command is used to view the status of migration at any moment uh, like uh, this command uh, will give us uh, what's the uh, current version of migration is being used what the previous version and what's the next version so now let's start as I have created the entity uh, we need to run the migration uh, as shown here also php bin console make migration make migration enter this the migration is created we can also check from the uh, migration directory so this, uh, this version uh, the migration is created here we can see there as our and as in our entity there are two fields id and name here we can see also the only these two fields so if we want to uh, run this run this migration uh, in the form of table we can just uh, run command php bin console doctrine train migration migrate yes user with these two fields now we will uh, uh, check uh, this example by taking uh, under version where we can see uh, how we can regenerate the entity and how the versioning is maintained so now firstly for this we need to move on the entity class here we are seeing there are two fields and I need to change the structure of that table by adding more field as I will type on php bin console make entity enter uh, as our class name is user user it is saying you want to add new property name yes I want to add in I will want to keep this field name as is active is active yes what type of field uh, suppose I, yes I want to keep it as boolean yes now label no 
we want to add more field no yes we can see here on the getter setter uh, of the active is active field is generated and there is a um, field name is active with the type boolean is created so now we need to create the migration and the migration of it for it we will run command as php bin console doctrine make migration so you can see there is another version of this migration has been created and we can see the sql command is alter table user add is active to this now as we see here are the two fields we need to update our migration so we need to uh, run this command doctrine migration migrate yes our the previous version is nine is end with nine four zero and the current version is two two six and we can see here there is a third uh, field name is active is added so we have seen that how the migration is uh, work we can see these two commands and we need to if we want to check the migration status we can use php then console doctrine migration status we can see here previous version is 940 this one and the current one version which is uh, running is 126 and it is already the latest version it is uh, informing us we might want to move level down then we can try this command php then console doctrine migration execute migration execute as our current version is it one two two six we now we need to move it a level down so we'll go to here and we'll just copy this version Done. Yes. Alter table user drop is active, so it will just revert back only this migration. Here we can also check this. At this moment, we are seeing there are three fields. Now we will just only refresh it, and we are seeing there are only two fields. So we uh, we have seen how the migration is worked, uh, and today. We have uh, just see how we can create database, how we can make entity, and how the migration has been created for the uh, tables. Hope you like uh, this video and keep supporting by liking and subscribing my channel. We will back soon with more videos. And thank you for watching.